ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, you will not believe this. Some savages have found gold. These savages happen to be people of color. And guess what? The United States is going to help them. They're going to help teach these savages how to use gold properly. Let's talk about these savages and the gold that they found. There it is. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, gold. Haiti Ice Potential 20 billion bonanza. 20 billion. Now, you know that's a low ball estimate because you know gold, a gold mine is worth far more than 20 billion dollars. But hold on now, Haiti, <laughs> it's got natural resources. And guess what? Let's destabilize the government. Let's put Mr. Rodham in there to assure that everything goes well. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, not 20 billion in gold, but 20 million ounces, 30 million ounces. How do they know? Well, they probably did their surveys and you know, Haiti doesn't have the equipment to do the surveys. How much gold did the US take from Haiti? I don't know, <laughs> but they did it before. Let's see if they'll do it again. Now look, I, I, hey, 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 destabilization of nations, the United States would never do that. So let's find out the year that the Haitian president was assassinated. Wake up. President assassinated. Stop listening. Was assassinated on the 7th of July, 2021. Really? He was assassinated? Why was he assassinated? Aw, 2021. Wait, hold on. Let's do... Let's do Haiti 2015. Let's see what happened in Haiti in 2015. Oh, they had the election. Oh, they put the puppet president in there, and you know what happened? Whoa, what happened in 2014? Let's do that. Uh, region prime minister of Haiti, long several ministers following a violent protest and the commission calls for him to step down. The protesters began to demanding the holding of early elections. Really? Why is Haiti having so many problems after 2012? Let's see 2013. The Democratic Republic, Dominican, Haitian experience diplomatic crisis in 2013 and the principal point of conflict was the issue of trade restrictions but it unfolded against the background of the gold i'm sorry the democratic dominican republic i i just want to say democratic republic of congo i apologize the dominican republic's attempt to return thousands of residents to hades who were descendants of haiti Okay, ladies and gentlemen, why is Haiti having so many problems since 2012? Let's do 2012. Oh, there was a 7.0 earthquake that struck Haiti. Whoa, man, Haiti's just having so many problems after they find gold. Haiti is having so many problems after they found gold. Ain't that something, ladies and gentlemen? How is it possible for Haiti to find and have so many problems after they find gold? I don't understand. Somebody, can somebody tell me? I mean, it's like every year Haiti is having a problem. And the first thing they want to talk about is, you know, human rights, famine, the people are impoverished, they don't know nothing. I've met plenty of Haitians. Haitians are not stupid, to say the least. Benjamin Bouchamp, one Haitian that I met, who came directly from Haiti to New York because they had such a program. 
here in the United States. But what is the first thing the United States said they were going to do? Remember, they're trying to help Haiti. Did they not say that they were going to block them from coming to Florida, but they're letting everybody else, according to the news, according to those channels, come across the border, but not Haitians? No, Haitians, y'all can't come over here. We're going to come over there. We're going to help y'all. Go ahead and take a look at how they're helping the Haitians. Look at how the United States, Tony Blinken and all of them are going over to Haiti. They say they're trying to help. They're not doing anything. Why? Because it's called government destabilization. Now they're going to inflict a very heavy price on Haiti for all of that help that they're providing. You don't believe me? Just sit back and watch. Sit back and watch. Government destabilization. Everybody wants the gold. Y'all know how gold fever is. Once one person finds gold, everybody's going over there to find gold. Why do you think certain countries are saying, no, we're not going over there to bring in our military so that our men will die while you guys come in after us? Go ahead and see if that's not the argument. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not know. Now, I, 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 hey, hey, hold on. Alex Jones did an interview the other day. I get the snippet of it because I don't listen to Alex anymore. So I got the snippet of the interview. And there was a young lady who used to do humanitarian relief in Haiti. And she's the one who talked about this. And she says she hasn't been over to Haiti for several years. But when she saw the report, she knew that it had something to do directly with the gold. And I said, that can't be true. I didn't know about no gold being found in Haiti because I don't care. But wait a minute, Haiti, I, I was watching people running and gunshots and, you know, they're, oh, the first thing they talked about in Haiti is the Haitian men raping the Haitian women. Yes, yeah, shame on you men. Men are always raping women in every single conflict. That's how they vilify them in the United States. They, the... <laughs> Hamas was raping the Israeli women. Ladies and gentlemen, if Hamas is supposed to hate Israelis that much, then you don't understand anything about the Islamic faith. If they are really Islamic, and that's what they are claiming that Hamas is, then you would see that they would never, ever, ever do that especially if they're doing a cause that they claim is supposed to be sanctioned by Allah. How could he sanction them if they are violating his law? Especially with people who are, as they refer to them, infidels. It doesn't make any sense. But, hey, that's what they reported over in Israel. But we did get reports of the Israeli military raping the women of Palestine that they've captured. Now, how is that possible that we get those reports and it's brushed over as if it's no big deal? Well, the IMF, the Israeli defense, whatever they are, said that they are going to investigate. Really? They get to investigate themselves? Oh, God. When have we heard that before? The fun of the police. I'm sorry, I'm, I apologize. This is not about that. This is about the United States going over and helping the savages, the ignorant, the uneducated, the niggas. They got to teach them how to handle their money. Okay? They got to teach them how to handle their money. Now, why Haiti? Well, Haiti doesn't know what to do with the gold. Haiti doesn't know what to do. Haiti is being punished forever because they fought against the imperialist the so-called enslavers and they won gave them a beat down because they're savages i know some of you're going to have a wrong take on this video but some of you're going to get it some of you're going to understand that nothing has changed six thousand years of human history and what has man done man continues to destroy man Man continues to take advantage of man. You really wanted to help Haiti? Then you would work out an amicable deal with Haiti to help them mine the gold, to help them build up their society. But the world doesn't want that. Look, 
After the earthquake in 2012, what has been the advancements in Haiti? Absolutely nothing. It's still the same place. After 2012, no advancements. But Haiti should be one of those islands like those in the Caribbean where people are going and visiting and shopping and it should be a tourist attraction, but it is not. Why? Because they cannot afford it. If Haiti was to have prosperity, then that would go contrary to the idea that these nations only became prosperous because of imperialism, because of them coming in and taking over and reorganizing them. Go ahead. All of the nations that are tourist attractions, it's only because the so-called man came over and made them tourist attractions. Came over and took care of their economies. From Jamaica to St. Croix to St. John. Y'all know the islands I'm talking about. I got to hear of them often. That pause was for you all to think about it. Go ahead and look at your Caribbean tours. They only go to those islands. Go ahead. Go ahead and check the map. Check any... I, hey, I haven't checked. I guarantee you I haven't checked. But I'm telling you right now, I guarantee you. Go ahead and check the tours of these so-called cruise ships and see if they do not go to British and or U.S. formerly held territories. Go ahead. Because that's how they gain their economic stability. Why? Because most of the people who run the government are descendants of those slave owners, those plantation owners. Don't believe me? Hey, go check. I'm, hey, hey, I did not check. I promise you I haven't checked. Go and check for yourself. And if I'm right, then you've gained the knowledge. You didn't get it from me. You've gained that knowledge for yourself. And then you can do the math. Now, what benefit will it do you to find out whether or not they still control these islands, but from behind the scenes? Then that shows you how the world runs. That shows you how the world runs. You guys remember Black Wall Street, Oklahoma? <laughs> hey, sorry. They can't allow that, ladies and gentlemen. Not without permission. So, I just thought I'd show you how the United States always comes to the rescue. And if you don't see destabilization going on in Haiti, and watch this. Last one. Wake up. Wake up. Government destabilization, comma, a war tactic. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, an economic theory of destabilization war. Attacks on the government can be conducted either using conventional tactics, direct attacks, or irregular tactics. Terrorism. Ah, political destabilization. Ha, ah, ain't that something? Do you know who uses destabilization tactics? Oh, yes, he does. Israel, including China, including Russia, government destabilization, huge tactic, huge tactic, why, because you destabilize the government, it makes them easier for invasion, they've been doing it for centuries, people, didn't just start it in Haiti, that's how you knew something was going on. When they talked about assassinations and unrest, and then they claim that it's the gang members. Same thing in Central America and Central Africa. Notice the same tactics. Just don't take my word for it. Go ahead and look at the so-called, uh, what do they call that? The Arab Spring. Look at what they were trying to do with, <laughs> and China said, 
not in our backyard, Hong Kong. They were trying to bring democracy to Hong Kong. Excuse me. United States has no business bringing democracy to Hong Kong or any other place. It's not their job. You can't go into somebody else's house and tell them how to run their house, people. I know some of you have the idea, well, we need to do this. Destruction, but if he didn't have weapons of mass destruction, he killed those people all the way back in uh, 1902. No, 1864. I don't know how many years ago he he's supposed to have gassed his own people. He gassed his own people. Excuse me. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? There was no proof. Wait, hold on. If he gassed his own people, then why wasn't he brought before the Hague? They were a Hague nation. So why was he? As their leader, then where's the proof? They just said it, ladies and gentlemen. They gave the Western news media the story, and they told it to us, and we believed it. He said that he was coming off the U.S. dollar. He was going to sell his oil in euros. Right after he said that, they destabilized his country. Gaddafi said that he was no longer going to sell his oil in a U.S. dollar. He was going to sell it in euros. Right after that, they destabilized his country. Do you notice how both men are dead? Okay, watch this. Some, some of y'all are not seeing it, but they've been showing it to us. They haven't been hiding it. Wake up. Saddam Hussein plans to sell oil in euros instead of the U.S. dollar. Stop listening. Why exactly did Saddam want to trade oil in euros? Because he was under sanctions by the United States and was locked out of dollar payment system. That is not the case, ladies and gentlemen. He wanted to sell oil in euros because the euro was trading higher than the U.S. dollar and he could make more money by trading in euros. Ta-da! No, hold on. Wake up. Gaddafi. Stop listening. I didn't spell it your system. Marmar Gaddafi and Saddam Hussein. Let's look at this one. Uh, hey, hey, I, I never looked at this before. I just remember the news reports. I do not understand the economy, however. I believe both leaders want to liberate their countries from the control of the American economy. Both believe that if they took steps, many countries will follow, especially Europeans. American also where it is known, ladies and gentlemen, the world dollar the American dollar is the world default currency. Okay, and they're talking about it's not just about the US currency, but the fact that those two nations said we're taking ourselves and we're, they were not talking about just coming off the dollar standard, okay? UN to let Iraq sell oil in euros, not dollars, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, that's 2000. Look how long ago that was that Iraq said they were going to do it, okay? Why is Iraq still trying to sell their oil in euros? Interesting, huh? Gaddafi had to go. African gold, oil, and challenge. Oh, that's right. Gaddafi did have gold. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yes, he was going to back his uh, money with gold. Gaddafi was going to back his funds with gold. and and But that, that wasn't the issue, ladies and gentlemen. He was saying to divert oil revenues towards state-controlled funds rather than the American banks. I, I don't want to deal with that. Now, they call it a conspiracy. Okay? It's not a conspiracy, ignorant idiots. It, it was the news. This is foreignpolicy.com. Okay? The Lebanese, uh, um, 
I said Lebanese. They're not Lebanese. They are um, Gaddafi and his country. Now I can't even think of the name of Gaddafi's country, and I apologize for that, those of you who are from there. One of the most wealthiest countries in Africa. And they destabilized the whole country. Blew up buildings, blew up their entire infrastructure. Why? Destabilizing the government. Why? Because they said they were going to sell their oil. Look at Venezuela. Venezuela said the same thing. Destabilized that country. Where is that leader at? Watch this. Wake up. Wake up. Hugo Chavez. Stop listening. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez declares on Tuesday that Venezuela will consider putting the sale of its oil in euros. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. All three gone. All three dead. All three dead. Now, I want to tell you, because I try to be honest with you guys at all times, the honest truth. I didn't even correlate Hugo Chavez's death to this. I just knew his death wasn't a coincidence. He was dead. Diagnosed with cancer and all of a sudden he's dead? Please. I mean, he died quickly. It wasn't that he was diagnosed with cancer. And he's a world leader, ladies and gentlemen. He gets checkups all the time. Every world leader is required to have checkups because they it's a national security issue if they get sick. It could destabilize the government. So how come he didn't know and how come his doctors didn't know he had cancer? He takes a physical the moment he gets in office. That is a standard. That's why you guys keep hearing about that idiot. I mean, uh, Joe Biden and his physicals. Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you, I did not know that they were planning on selling their oil in euros. I just knew Venezuela's economy was doing pretty good and Hugo Chavez was kicking out the oil uh, companies who owned so much and controlled so much. And that's what they made it about. That's all I knew about. The situation. I did not know that he was planning on selling his oil in euros. We have three countries in a row. So, of course, the United States is going to help people understand how to sell their goods, their minerals, their so called wealth, their natural resources. How, how would any of us believe otherwise? And notice the three countries have been completely destabilized. They no longer hold the world scene. They're still having problems in their country to this, to this, to this, to this. Pay attention to this day. But the United States, in both Libya, that's the country Muammar Gaddafi was running. Libya and in Iraq, they are still there. United States is still there. Still controlling. They claimed that they were letting other nations control. Once they took that idea out of their head, they didn't care about the country anymore. They could keep their men and keep it destabilized and make sure they put their own puppet in place to control their own puppet. And when the puppet doesn't do what they want, like the Haitian president, the one that they elected, that they put in office, when he doesn't do what they want, then he goes bye-bye. Y'all need to pay attention. Somebody's not paying attention. Sorry, I just wish so many other people would go and do the research. Hey, I haven't done the research because it wasn't no big deal. But now that I find three people all assassinated, I mean, see, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, did I use that word? No, <clears throat> three people who died under mysterious, con con yeah, yeah, mysterious, mysterious. They died under mysterious conditions. Yeah, it was so mysterious that Saddam Hussein, they claim, was hung. The Iraqis hung him. Now go back and look at the Iraqi people and see when the last time they hung somebody. Now wait, hold on. <laughs> who does the hanging? Come on, people, who does hanging? Was it not the imperialists that did the hanging? But they said the Iraqis. The Iraqis hung Saddam Hussein. Now, hold on. Go back and take a look at that Osama bin Laden character whom they claim they buried at sea. United States buried him at sea? Yeah, they wanted to give him a proper Muslim burial. Ladies and gentlemen, Muslims do not bury people at sea. 
sorry, go go and look at their Quran, go and look at their culture. But they wanted to give him a proper Muslim burial because many of you don't understand Islam. Many of you don't understand the Quran. Many of you don't understand that nation. That's why the Israelis can sit up there and say that the Palestinians, all of them are Hamas. All Palestinians are Hamas, according to Israel, but that they sit up there and rape people when they take them hostage. Now, who is it that normally does that? All the movies you've ever seen? All the movies you've ever seen? Who is it that normally does? Now, do some Palestinians do some Arab individuals do those things? Of course they do. But this is supposed to be a holy war, remember? They know that you reap what you sow. That's not just in the Bible. That is a quote-unquote principle of life. So they knew that if they went against the Quran that they would not achieve anything. That's why they wouldn't do something like that. And that's why the others around them wouldn't do it. And they would probably kill the person who was attempting to do it. Pay attention. Remember, the Israelis call them extremists. And since they were extremists, there's no way in the world they would stand around and allow somebody to do that. I don't care how much hatred they had for the person. They'd rather kill the person than to sit up there and violate their tenets of their religion. But let's say it again. The news keeps telling us things contrary to this. That's why I didn't know that Hugo Chavez was planning on selling his oil in euros. And if we go back to every other destabilized country, <sighs> Wake up. The Democratic Republic of Congo. Stop listening. I don't know if the Democratic Republic of Congo has oil, but I believe it does because of it being one of the largest African countries. Let's see what's going on in the Democratic Republic of Congo. <sighs> let's see, let's see. Yeah, see, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do the Democratic Republic of Congo because I don't know what its natural resource is. I do know, pay attention, I do know that the Democratic Republic of Congo has a lot of gold and has a lot of diamonds. Okay, and of course they got to teach them how to handle their money. Okay, they have to teach them how to handle their money. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will let you guys go. Y'all have a good day. And we'll speak to y'all later. Goodbye. Arriva Darchi!